In this video, I will show you how I did uh, option 5 by adding additional piece onto option 4. Here's me trying to use knifeless tape. I speed up the video quite a bit. Uh, it was a long process. Right now I try to figure out which order it goes in. Looks like the horizontal front piece will be the last one to pull. And this will be pulled before that one, so it's overlay on top of it. One mistake I did is I did this without measuring. So the end product... That should work. The end product was about one inch off on one of the side. It's easier to remove the clear top of this particular vinyl and just pull it because it starts separating. Not an easy vinyl to work with, but it's not that difficult. So I do one corner at a time. I take care of this one first, then I move on to the top, peel it off, and reapply it. And the core on in it, peel half of it, and work my way all the way to the right. And we're there. Let's do the uh, pop down on the top. Pull the line out. The line down both. Little piece. Use this. Pull the two feet line. Drag right all the way down through. Green, drag this all together. The line is good. Push it. Finger, push it. So we got our line, crispy line, right there. Right here. Pull the line Before we do the Corvette sign, I have to say, I'm already liking this a lot, a lot better. This step, step is about cutting the top piece. I follow the groove of the trunk. Man, it's as easy as Razor blade it off and pull it off. I like to use the 
key gun that I find all the strength. Once it shrinks in, it's easier to push. Instead of trying to push and the vinyl is harder, um, it's easier to shrink wrap, I guess. That will be the word. Shrink. Shrink. Not shrimp. Shrink wrap. The vinyl. Shrimp. Nah. Shrink wrap the vinyl. So I'll do the same thing to the Corvette sign, but heat it up, let the vinyl shrink into it. You see how the vinyl starts shrinking into it? I just push slightly, it will go in. There's a lot of tension in the middle of the Corvette sign, so I have to cut it to release the tension, the pressure, so the vinyl don't keep pulling itself back out. I'm pulling it apart, allow the tension to be released, and tuck it into these corners. You can see it really works. So what I did is I cut around the edge, upper edge of the emblem, leave some slack, so I can tuck this in. I made a mistake here. I cut at the bottom, and I, I short of the, the vinyl. But it's okay, this is a mock-up, so later I'm going to remove this uh, for something else. But lesson learned. Cut the top edge, leave this much slack, so when you tuck this in, the vinyl can tuck in underneath the emblem a little better. Well, for this test, I didn't do it so well. Lesson learned. I need to cut the top edge, then tuck it in. So, what I would do is I use some black marker just to cover those up. This is just a markup anyways. A little bit of black up touch up paint around the emblem. As good as new. You can see how I screwed up the two sides. They're different length. The right side is more longer. The left side is too short. Next time I should major it. But again, this is a mock-up, so... Just to choosing different options. See which one I like the most, then I'll come back and do the one I like the most. What do you guys think? A lot of people like this one. The vinyl looks insane. It looks so real. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. See you next time.